We are a centrifugal foundry. We provide axial symmetrical parts in various uh, metal components, aluminum base, copper base, and stainless steels. My name is Scott Homa. I work for Johnson Centrifugal Technologies in Sockville, Wisconsin. Centrifugal foundries have been around a very long time, but it's a very unique process. We actually start with a, a, a die, a, a rotating die. We introduce liquid metal into the rotating die. The liquid metal actually climbs the walls. While it's still liquid, it's being held on the walls. The G-force is driving that liquid metal into the die wall, and then the die wall actually acts as a heat sink and starts freezing it from the outside to the inside. Nice thing about it is it's completely uniform, 360 degrees, extremely uh, consistent throughout, and the nice thing is we can put shape to it and we can make parts right to size. We typically compete against forgings, sand castings, and uh, rolled and welded. Each has their niches. The thing that's interesting about ours is we can actually incorporate flanges in without any welding. We have no seams in our parts whatsoever. Virtually airtight, uh, vacuum tight. A really interesting thing, it's, it's a satellite. It's half a satellite. It's made out of aluminum because that old saying, what goes up must come down. This will re-enter and they want it upon re-entry to melt. This one is, uh, uh, people think it's a big pot, but it isn't. It's actually a vacuum chamber for the University of Colorado Applied Physics Department. They were making um, some, they were putting some components in here and they were actually igniting plasma inside here. So it's a small vacuum chamber. But again, it was a PhD student working and they needed a seamless, how else would you get this? It's bigger than bar stock. You can't cast it. You can't forge it, but we can centrifugally form it. Please stop and check out our website. It's www.johnsoncentrifugal.com.